Hey guys, welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you a leather tutorial. We will be learning how to make these beautiful leather baby moccasins. So if you're interested, then stick around. So head on over to my blog, which is charmedbyashley.com. I will have a free pattern there for you, which is six to 12 months. If you would like any other sizes, I will have links to purchase those patterns and all of the proceeds for those patterns will go to help support my channel. Okay, so I cut out all my pieces. For the soles, I will be using suede, and I got the suede from a thrifted skirt, and the leather I got from an old coat, so I am not using any new materials other than the elastic for these moccasins. So first I will place my fringe piece on top of the toe piece. I'm just centering that, and then I will sew about an eighth of an inch on the top and then about a half an inch underneath that seam. That will create a casing for my elastic. And now I will work on the heel part and I'll place the fringe piece right sides down and then put the heel piece right sides down on top of that. And I'm bringing that down about three quarters of an inch from the top of that fringe piece. Fold down the fringe piece and I'll clip that down and that will create the casing for the elastic around the back of the heel. So now I'm going to take that both over to the sewing machine and I will be using a acrylic foot which will help slide against my leather and it's a little bit hard to push it through the machine also. So I'm just using some tissue paper and I'm going to lay that on the bottom and then lay that on the top also. So I'm basically just sandwiching the pieces with the tissue paper and then I can sew through that very easily and then I'll just tear it off after I'm finished. So I'm just doing two seams on that fringe piece, like I said, that is creating a casing for the elastic. And then I'm going to make sure that you lock those stitches on either side of the fringe just so that you know that it's not going to lift up when you go to put your elastic in. And now I'm going to go ahead and sew the casing on the other piece. So just right along that raw edge of the fringe piece. Sorry, it's, it's a little bit hard to, to show you, but hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Um, making sure that that casing is nice and big so that your quarter of an inch elastic will fit through there. And now we will go and rip off all of the tissue and some of it does get stuck in the seams which um, you could use a lint roller or even just some tweezers to get it out but there's no real other way of getting around getting it through the machine otherwise it doesn't want to go through the machine nicely so I have to use the tissue paper. If you have any tips for me on sewing with leather then definitely leave that in the comments down below because I am sort of new to this. So I will be using some school glue to help me with the next part because it just is a lifesaver. I just snipped a little triangle in the middle of my heel piece just to make sure I center it good on the um, the sole piece. So I'm just going to use that school glue and place it along the edge and as you're going you will want to clip. I find it best to use clips or you can use binder clips or paper clips just so that you don't puncture holes into your leather. Um, those could be noticeable when you're when you're all finished and so you can just slowly with your fingers um, kind of bend the leather around the sole just so that it, it, all the edges are lining up. And I just placed those clips just to help set the glue and the glue dries fairly quickly. So um, once I start sewing, then I, I know that those pieces won't move after. Okay, so then you're gonna take it over to your sewing machine and do a quarter of an inch seam allowance along that edge. And this is how it should look when you are finished. So just make sure that you got all your fabric and it looks good. And then we will start to work on the toe. And I will put that, of course, right sides down against the nice side of the sole. And 
I just clipped another little triangle to make sure I line that up nicely. And I will use my glue again as it worked so well before. So of course I'm going to do it again. And I'll just glue that edge. If you do it just along the edge, then your needles shouldn't come in contact with the glue and you don't have to worry about your needle getting all gross and glued up. So. <laughs> Alright, so you're just going to keep going, making sure that that edge is lined up. Add some more glue if you need to. And then when you get over to the part where it comes in contact with the heel portion, you're going to actually lay this on top of it. If your toe piece isn't overlapping the heel piece, then your toe piece is placed wrong and you'll need to adjust that. So I will again do a quarter of an inch seam and again, I am using some tissue paper just to help that slide through my machine. And then that is pretty much it for the shoe portion. I'm going to start working on the elastic next and I sort of have a little bit of an interesting way of putting my elastic in. I use a plastic needle, some thread, and then a safety pin. So I thread through the elastic, attach it to the needle, and then I'll put a safety pin, a big one at the end, to make sure that the elastic doesn't keep coming through the casing and it stays in the spot that I want it to. So I'm just going to place that into the back of my casing, slip that through. You might need to fiddle with it a little bit just to get it through all the way. That's why I like to use the plastic uh, needle as it doesn't want, it doesn't stick. If I use my metal ones, it probably would give me a harder time. And then I will go through that little portion that we sewed, little casing on our front fringe. And now I will just tug on both ends to bring them out further. And then I will sew the two pieces together just to make it into a loop. And you can adjust it depending on how tight you want it to be around the ankle. And I'll go and do a zigzag stitch onto my elastic. And then after you can tuck your elastic inside the casing. But first I will work on my fringe. You can do whatever you want to do for your fringe really but I'm going to, of course, mimic what I did in the version before. Um, most, if you see these, most of them look like this. So this is pretty standard fringe for these leather moccasins. Uh, make sure you have some really good and sharp scissors when you do this. I like my fringe about a quarter of an inch. I think that looks the cutest, but of course you can make it thicker or thinner. Totally up to you. Of course you can see I still have some tissue stuck in the seams, but don't worry, I will take that out. <laughs> see, I'm just going to just kind of shove those ends in there. Um, and then that's pretty much it. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you make these, I would love to see them. So follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all linked down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.